Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrina's Creations. Today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to do hot chocolate packets using um, Silhouette Studio. I already did a tutorial using Microsoft Word. So I'll be doing videos for now on for both um, software. So this one will be in Silhouette Studio. And check down the description bar for the link for the one that I did for Microsoft Word. Again, this is very, very easy and very inexpensive to do. And these are great for any party, any events. And that's all. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is open up your Silhouette um, Studio. And if you don't have Silhouette Studio, you can download the basic edition for free at Silhouette America. You do not need the machine to use the software. You can just design on here, print and just cut it out by hand. Um, always check down the description bar. I do have the Silhouette Business Edition and right now it is a one-time payment for $48. I have the link down below and if you would like to purchase the machine, I own two Cameo 3s. Um, you can also check down the description bar for the link where I purchased my machines. I also know if you own a Cricut, you can use this software and but you do need the Business Edition and you save your project as an SVG and then you could open it up with Cricut. Okay, so let's get started. Like I said, I do have business edition and I have version 4.2. So my screen might look a little bit different than yours. The first thing you do need to do is go to the paper settings. That is your first icon on your right. It looks like a paper. You will click on there and where it says page size, you're going to click on 8.5 by 11. That is the um, paper size that we are using. If you look down below, it will say reveal. I have my on zero percent some people have theirs on a hundred that means you're not able to see um, your paper you only to see your grid but I like mine to be on zero percent so I can see my paper and this is how it looks next thing you need to do is you're going to do your template for your hot chocolate packet you're going to go to your shapes the shapes are on your left um, it has like a square and a circle you're gonna click on the square you're gonna make any size square on your screen and while your square is selected up top on the toolbar it will say width and height if you can't see the width and height on your toolbar you're gonna go to your transform panel your transform panel it is also on your right it is the icon with three lines going down you're going to click on that and while you're on the transform panel you're going to click on the second icon where it says scale and when you click on that it's going to say width and height as well so either or toolbar or on your transform panel that's where you're going to change the size for your um, shape so on your width you're going to select that and you're going to type um, one 0.84 enter and then for your height you're going to type 5.5 and enter once you have your first rectangle done that is your first that is uh, one of the panels for the back of your hot chocolate packet then you are going to select it you're going to right click and you're going to click on duplicate while you have that now you're gonna need to change this the width for this one the width for this one will be 3.55 and enter and that is your second rectangle so the height for this one is 5.5 and the width is 3.55 you're going to make sure this rectangle is right next to your first one and you can even use your arrow keys on your keyboard make sure they are touching and now the first rectangle that we did you're going to click on it you're going to right click and you're going to duplicate this one as well and then put this one next to the second rectangle and this is all three rectangles this is your template you can use your arrow keys to make sure they align correctly there is also a magnifying glass on the top that has the plus um, symbol. You can click on that to zoom in to see your template better to make sure that everything is aligning together. And as you can see, my middle one is not. Okay. 
Now I'm going to zoom out. There's another magnifying glass on the top with a minus, and that is to zoom out. If you want your hot chocolate wrapper to have borders, you will go back to your shapes on your left. You click on the rectangle, make any size rectangle on your screen. And then for the borders, for the width, um, that will be 7.22. So you're going to select it, 7.22 and enter. And then for the height, it will be 0 0.36 and enter. And then you're going to right click and you're going to duplicate this. So you have both of your borders, one for the top and one for the bottom. Now for your borders, you don't add it to the top. You're gonna add them to the inside once you are done, but this is only if you want borders and you'll see after. Now from here, you are ready to design. I have some images here on my screen. If you have business edition, all you have to do is go to Google and you can look for an image that you want. You're going to right click and copy and then you're gonna come in silhouette, right click and paste it. That is only for backgrounds. If you are saving PNG images, that means those images are transparent background. You do have to save those images to your computer. Like if I want the Swiss logo PNG, I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to look for Swiss logo PNG. Okay, once you look for Swiss Miss logo PNG, you need to make sure you click on the image. You cannot save your image while it's all like this. You need to make sure you click on one image. Once you click on it, you need to see if it is a transparent background. Um, it will look like uh, white and gray squares in the back. So as you can see, this one has uh, white and gray squares in the back. That means that is a transparent background. So from here, you're going to right click it. You're going to save picture as, and then you're going to save it to your computer. You cannot copy and paste PNG images to Silhouette. You need to save it to your computer. Once it's saved, then you will go back to Silhouette Studio. From here, now you're ready to design. I have this background right here that I want it to be in the middle of my um, template. The middle of your template is the front and the two sides square rectangles are the back of your template. So this image right here, I want it to be in the middle of my hot chocolate. Then let me zoom in. And the sides of my template, I'm going to select it. And then if you want to change, if you want a solid color instead of a background, you can just select your rectangle and on your icon on your right, it says open the fill panel. It looks like a pink palette. You're going to click on that. And you're going to select any of these colors. If you don't want, if you don't want any of these colors, you can click on the dropper. It looks like a medicine dropper right there. You can click on it, and then you can select any of these colors from uh, this background that I have here. Let's say I want to use this green. So then my square will turn like that again. If you select your rectangle and you go to your paint panel on your right, if you don't like any of these colors, just click on the property dropper looks like a medicine dropper click on any color of this background you have in here and then your rectangle will turn that color gonna zoom out a little bit if you want to use a background you would just look for the background of your choice and then you will add it to the sides Now, example, you see this background that I got, it has all these images in it. If I try to size it 
to my rectangle, it is distorting my background. So what I will do is I'm going to click on this background. There is another property dropper, looks like a medicine dropper on my um, left, all the way in the bottom. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on my background that I want. Make sure that the rectangle was selected. You're going to click on the dropper, then click on the background that you want, and it's going to look like this. Then again, in the fill panel, that looks like the paint palette, on the third one that says fill pattern, you're going to click on that. After you click on that, you need to go where it says advanced options. Click on advanced options, it's going to say aspect ratio, so you will click on the first F. And then you see how it's all your background fits in correctly in here. Now there is a scale. You can scale it down or you can scale it up. It's all up to you. And then it also says pan pattern. You can move your background where it says pan pattern. Like that. Once you are satisfied, you could unselect it. The same thing for the next rectangle. If you don't want a solid color and you just want to have a background, but if you have a background and if you stretch it out like this, it's going to distort your image. So you can click on the rectangle. I'm clicking on my left rectangle. There is a property dropper on your left bottom corner. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click on my pajama party background. Then my um, rectangle is going to look like this. I'm going to go to my fill panel that looks like the paint uh, palette. I'm going to click on the third icon that says fill pattern. I'm going to click where it says aspect ratio on the first F. And then my rectangle is going to look like that. I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And where it says pan pattern, I'm going to move it. I'm going to scale it down a little bit more. And then I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay? So you have different options. Now, to insert your logo, remember I told you to save it. You saved a PNG image. To insert any images, if you didn't copy and paste it to your silhouette, you will go to File, you will go to Merge, and you're going to look for the image that you saved. This means any image that you have saved to your computer, this is how you will bring it into Silhouette. File and Merge. Once you find your picture, you're just going to click on OK. You're going to click on your logo and you're going to insert it wherever you want. Now, if you do want your borders, you're going to click on your border, bring it inside of your um, template if you want the borders. To change the color, you're going to go to your paint panel. You're going to change any color you want. If you don't like any of these colors, again, click on the dropper and click on any of these colors inside of your design. And use your arrow keys on your keyboard to align it correctly. If you're going to use the bottom border, you're going to click on it, bring it to the bottom. If you want to add a color, just add the color to it and align it to the bottom. And use your arrow keys on your keyboard to align it. Okay, now back to my Swiss logo. You can add it right wherever you want and size it to whatever, however you want it. 
and because I feel like I'm going to crop the top of my image I'm gonna actually make my image a little bit down like that and then I'm gonna add my logo And I don't want to crop the top of their PJs. So I'm actually going to bring it down a little bit more. Just going to make another rectangle right here. And I'm going to color it that color and then I'm going to select my image and right click it and bring to front and then I'm going to put it right where it went but I'm going to try to make it smaller. And I'm just right clicking and bringing everything to the front. Now when I, I got to right click my logo, bring to front. And then when I put it here, then I'm not covering up their PJs. Like that. I'm going to actually select my entire template and on the outline panel right under the fill panel there is that is called the line style panel. I'm going to click on that where it has the colors. I'm going to click where it says no color. I don't want none of my rectangles to have any colors. Now I'm also going to show you a trick. You see how this logo is in blue. You can change the color of this and the way you will change the color of your logo, you're going to have it selected and then in the panel that looks like a, um, it's called the image effects panel, but it looks like a half moon, like half black, half white. You're going to click on that and then on when you're in the image effects panel, you are going to click on where it has like the spray can it says red green and blue so you can bring down the red or you can bring it down or the green you can bring it up or down and then like that you're going to be changing the colors of that logo you see let me zoom in And then there's another paint panel there that says H-U-E, the hue. Uh, in the image effects, you can bring it up and you can also bring it down. So just play around with all your icons to get familiar with what all your icons do. Once you are satisfied how it looks, just click on apply and then that's all. Then for the back, if you want to add like nutritional facts and stuff like that, you would just go to Google and Google nutritional facts and save it to your computer or just copy and paste it here. And then again, you will go to file, merge and add everything. Also for, um, oh, see when I was changing the colors on my logo, it put this square around it. So go to the outline, click on the outline color and click no outline color. So you could take that background off. To add a font, 
to your uh, design there is a A on your left and then there is also an A on your right so you're gonna you're gonna first click on the A on your left then you're going to click on the A on the A on your right you're going to click on the font that you want and you can download free fonts from the font.com but when you download fonts you need to make sure silhouette studio is completely closed once um you select the font that you want to write on you're going to click on it and then you're going to click on your screen anywhere on your screen and then you're going to start typing You're going to unselect it. You're going to click your font. And then again on the fill panel that looks like the paint panel, select any of these colors that you would like. Again, if you don't like any of these colors, just click on a color from your design to convert your font. And if you see right now it has red outline. So you're going to go to the outline panel under the fill panel. Click on the color and click on no color so you won't see those red outlines. Okay, again, now you're going to finish designing all your stuff. Again, add your nutritional facts and add your barcode. And if you want to add any font in the back. As you can see, my nutritional facts has one growing boy and I wanted to say one growing girl. So I'm going to click on my shapes on the right, the rectangle. I'm going to put a rectangle on top where it says growing boy. Like that. And I'm going to color it white. And in the outlines, I'm going to put no outline. So then you're not able to see growing boy. I'm just going to leave it like that. That says serving size one and you're going to click down your shift key click on your nutritional facts and click on the rectangle you just added right click and group it together so i can move as one image as you can see that if i add these that font on my next panel right here on my um rectangle on my left you're not able to see exactly what it says so i'm going to put an offset behind it so you make sure that your font is selected this font right here that says let's have some fun right here so make sure it's selected and you're going to go to your offset panel that looks like a double star and it's going to say offset just go all the way down your panels and it's going to have a double star and then click on there it's going to say offset click where it says offset 
and it's gonna put an offset around your um, font and you can bring it down or up I'm gonna actually bring down the offset has the distance and just bring it down a little bit and then go to your paint panel and color it any color you want I'm gonna color it white so you're able to see what I did so it's gonna be like that and it's gonna say let's have some fun from here, I'm not going to keep doing it, so I don't want to keep this video so long because it's probably already long and I apologize. But from here, you're going to drag your mouse all around your image. You're going to right click and you're going to group it together. And I didn't select my font, so undo. I didn't select my words, so make sure you select everything right click and group now everything is as one and you can only fit one per page so you just have it here now if you don't have a printer at home you're going to go to say to file you're going to go to save as save to hard drive And where it says save as type, you're going to save it as a PDF file, portable document format. And then you could go anywhere else and print. Also, if you're sending this to a customer, you need to save it as a PDF file. That means when you save it as a PDF file and their computer is not compatible with the software that you are using, everything will remain the same. But always save it as a PDF file. You could um, email it to yourself and go print at any local printing place or, you know, send it to your customer like this. If you do have a printer at home, there is a printer icon. You're going to select the printer icon. You're going to select the printer that you are using. You're going to click on preferences and you're going to select the preferences that you want. I always select document size 8.5 by 11. And then my paper type, I like printing on premium presentation paper mats and I have an inkjet Epson Workforce 7710. After here, I'm going to click on OK and then I'm going to print. Once I print, I'll be right back and show you how we're going to assemble this. Okay, so here is my printed design. I use cardstock. You can use anything you want. This is 65 pound cardstock or 80 pound cardstock, it doesn't matter. So here it is. Then you are going to need a pair of scissors to cut out your design. You're going to need your hot chocolate packet. You're going to need double-sided tape, hot glue, any crafting glue that you want. I am going to be using double-sided tape today. And then your choice if you want to use a paper crimper to crimp the top and bottom of your hot chocolate um, wrapper. So I'll be right back when I cut it. Once you are done cutting, you are going to fold your panels back. So it should look like this once you fold it. And what you're going to do is you're going to put double sided tape or glue top and bottom and only on one side of your panel, either on this one or this one, doesn't matter. So wherever you're gonna put the glue, make sure this is going to overlap like this. You either want it like this or you want it like that. So I'm going to put glue on this one. Okay, so I have my double sided tape added. So I'm going to add my hot chocolate packet in the middle. And then make sure everything aligns perfectly good. Close the top. Close the bottom. If you see like you see any little bit of white, just get a pair of scissors and just cut that little piece off. And from here you are done. Now if you do own a paper crimper or if you don't, you can just purchase one from Amazon. Check down my description bar 
for a paper crimper, you would just crimp the bottom and the top to give it that little crinkly effect on the bottom and the top. It's gonna give it that effect. And from here, you are done. Again, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and comment down below any more videos you would like to see from me. I already did a video on these using Microsoft Word. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe so, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload my next videos. And I will see you on my next tutorial. Bye-bye, guys.